Yeah, g'day guys, Steve from Dirt Bike ADV here. Now I'm just going to have a quick chat about the Garmin InReach. Uh, this is an Explorer Plus. Um, not a big fan of electronic gadgetry to be honest. Um, love my phone obviously, they're so useful as cameras and uh, communications and a bit of mapping and that sort of stuff. Um, but you won't see stuff bolted all over my handlebars basically. Um, so reluctant to get one of these, um, but unfortunately my wife bought one for my birthday. So you can imagine what would happen if I went out without it and got in trouble, she would wring my neck. So uh, not worth the grief, so I'm now taking an inReach with me. Um, this is the first trip um, with it. I've been away now for three or four days. Um, and it got to me think, got me thinking sort of thing about the whole situation with these inReaches. I've always been of the attitude of sort of, uh, I'll get myself out of trouble. I'll walk out, I'll, you know, I've got emergency supplies always with me, water and food and and tools and all that sort of stuff and uh, I've drowned my bike a couple of days ago I was able to sort that out so I treat myself as being very independent but and it's a big but if I do get into serious trouble um, and I can't walk out that's the situation where um, you know uh, they're going to come looking for you no matter what you say you can get yourself out of it uh, you know you can be the biggest hero in the world but people are just going to come looking for you Helicopters, planes, SES in Victoria, we have the Australian Emergency Service. They're all coming looking for you. They'll do it all for one person. So in a lot, a lot of respects, it's a bit irresponsible not to have one of these um, because with the inReach plans and the spot, the, the latest generation spots as well, you can text them and tell them what's going on. So if it is a dire emergency, you can say, get here straight away or bike's broken down, I'm stuck here. Um, can someone come and please pick me up? So you get those options. Of course, if you want to, you can text text your wife and say, I had a few problems, I'm still gonna walk out. That's your choice. Uh, but you get the choice, that's the thing. Um, so I think in a lot of respects, although they're pretty dear, $700 Australian and $55 a month to run the plan, that plan can be um, put on hold when you're not going away. So that's okay, that's fair. Um, so it's a, it's a considerable investment, um, but, the other side of the coin for me has been coming across an accident or a um, you know a fellow motorbike motorcyclist in trouble or a four-wheel drive flipped over or something along those lines. One of these could take us a lot of stress out of the situation, uh, particularly if people are seriously injured. A friend of mine um, uh, met a guy up in the top of Western Australia, middle of nowhere, stayed the stayed at night camp with him and top fella they were going to catch up again later. He died on his way home back down to Perth. Um, they were out in the middle of nowhere with no, no coverage. Um, he had some serious internal injuries and um, yeah, he died on the side of the road. But what actually happened, two of the guys had to go for try and find reception, which was two or 300 k's away. Now, probably not such a bad issue in high country here, but still, um, if I'm laying on the road at the bottom of a gully, pinned underneath a bike with my broken leg, I'm in all sorts of trouble. So I've just been carrying it on the bike for this weekend. It's been rattling round up on the uh, on the tower, gnawing the crap out of it, so I won't do that again. But I see a lot of people mount them here. And that makes this backpack a sort of secure, um, a secure sort of thing for me where I've got water, I've got food, I've got a little chainsaw, hand chainsaw in there. I've got um, uh, a little Leatherman style product and, um, and just some painkillers and that sort of stuff. And I've got this attached to the backpack. Even if I flip off the bike and land and my bike ends up 30 metres away from me, down a hill or something, I can sort of sort myself out. So probably in the end I've had to relent and um, particularly if you can imagine if I didn't uh, take it with me and my wife found out, I think it would be a D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Anyway, so this trip is my first trip with it. Um, I've had it now going for uh, leaving breadcrumbs every 10 minutes for um, uh, two and a half days now. This is my third day, fourth day, sorry. Um, and it's at 65% still battery life, so I haven't charged it. So I think you could probably um, be fairly conservative. You could make it last a week because I've been texting at night. Um, obviously, it's a new gadget. I've been mucking around with it, trying to set it up and that sort of stuff. So the battery life is brilliant. Um, the mapping on it is just the Garmin topographical mapping. Yeah, it's not something you're going to use a lot, to be honest. Uh, it's it's too small a screen. Um, it, it might help you to know where the, where you're at an intersection or how steep a road is because it is topographical. Uh, I had the problem coming uh, this weekend. I come down a couple of tracks which uh, I thought were, were basically very easy tracks and it turned out to be quite hard. So that cost me a lot of time. Um, so it's a fairly average mapping setup, uh, which is a bit disappointing. You can connect it to your phone and use it on your phone, bigger screen, that helps a lot. 
but the connection process with the phone is not sorted. I've just got a cheap arsehole phone, um, so maybe it might be the phone needs to be updated. I'm not too sure, but it's, the messages and that aren't connecting that well. So, um, yeah, that's that's to be sorted out. It's my first use of it this weekend, so I'm probably not too stressed about that. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, battery life's bloody brilliant, so I think that's going to be a big plus. But anyway, guys, I think uh, you're going to see one on me now. I'll work out how I can attach it up here or here or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah. so um, yeah anyway we're going to head home now um, done a three or four day trip and uh, it's been a good one so uh, yeah the in reach is uh, I think uh, uh, we'll be staying in my uh, kit from now on thanks guys